here comes the algebra question for you how fast can you simplify this algebraic expression okay so you get six seconds for doing that by the way you're most welcome to use a pen and a notepad to write the steps down but I tell you what once you know this trick then you can very easily do these type of questions in just one step and that too mentally okay that's a promise we'll come to that part so first you give it a try your time starts now The correct answer would be uh, x times x is x square and 2x plus 3x is 5x plus 6. The correct answer would be x square plus 5x plus 6. Okay, let's check that out. Here it is, x square plus 5x plus 6. Could you get that one? Well, if you did not get it, not to worry at all, for I have a very easy trick to do these type of questions. Okay, so let's check it out. Now the best part is that, that I don't have to teach you the faster way. Now why is that? Because you already know it. See, multiply the first term with the first term to get the first term of your answer. x times x is x square. Okay, now leave a blank space. Okay, now multiply the last term with the last term to get the last term of your answer. 3, 2 times is 6. Now how do you get the middle term? same the most poetic the most beautiful rainbow multiplication all right just multiply the outside terms and the inside terms and add them three times x is 3x and this is 2x 3x plus 2x would be yes 5x that's it question solved now isn't that incredible we skipped all those intervening steps and immediately got to the answer instantly and you can do it mentally x times x would be x square okay now the middle term would be do the rainbow multiplication it would be 3x plus 2x 3x plus 2x would be obviously 5x and the last term just multiply the last terms 2 times 3 is 6 that's it question solved and you always thought algebra was difficult Okay, so now you quickly multiply these two algebraic expressions. So once again, multiply the first term with the first term to get the first term of your answer. x times x is x squared. Now, find the middle term. Middle term is always the rainbow multiplication. So, 5x, 4x, 5x plus 4x is? Now, one more term to go. The last term. Just multiply the last terms. 5, 4 times is? 20. Question solved. There is another method as well to multiply a binomial with a binomial. It is called FOIL first outers inners last even that is good but the advantage of rainbow method is that that it is multi-purpose that means the same method can be used to multiply a binomial with a binomial or a binomial with a trinomial or a trinomial with a trinomial so therefore rainbow method is more useful let's take another one okay you try to solve it so now mentally solve this question be honest please don't use your notepad and your pen do it mentally start the answer would be x square 3x 7x is 10x and 21 x square plus 10x plus 21 that's it x times x is x square 
plus now the middle term do the rainbow multiplication so 3 times x is 3x 7 times x is 7x 7x plus 3x is how much 10x plus last term what would that be multiply the last terms together 7 3 times is 21 question solved now don't you feel like as if you have cracked the da vinci code of algebra now, everything is like so simple now isn't it see that is what the secret of mastering algebra is we just have to realize that algebra is not at all different from the usual mathematics the usual crunching with the numbers okay well by the way these are called binomials okay multiplication of binomials binomial is nothing but it's like comparable to a two digit number binomial is an algebraic expression that has two terms so basically binomial multiplication is just like the multiplication of two digit number with another two digit number now if you enjoyed this trick then you will simply love what I'm about to teach you right now okay it's a very cool trick to verify your answer now this way you will never make a mistake in algebra it will be absolutely foolproof way of cross-checking your answer okay now for that I just have to tell you one thing that I need to ask you if you know what coefficients are now if I write something like 3x and if I ask you can you tell me what is the coefficient of this term your answer would be 3 yes that's an absolutely correct answer okay now 3 is known as the coefficient let's see if I can spell it right uh, coefficient all right if I write this term x okay just x no number in front and if I ask you can you tell me what would be the coefficient of this term that is x can you tell me well did you say 1 absolutely correct there is an invisible one okay when you don't see anything in front of a variable like x then the coefficient is always 1 so what happens in algebraic operations that the operations on coefficients are always conserved so you can very quickly check if your answer is right or wrong by just doing the operations on just the coefficients okay now the coefficient of this x is 1 and obviously of this x is also 1 so now look at the operations 1 plus 7 is 8 okay and 1 plus 3 is 4 and what is the operation in between certainly it is the multiplication isn't it so 8 4 times is correct 32 now if the coefficients of our answer also after doing the operations they become 32 then our answer is sure shot correct okay let's quickly see if it is correct now this is 1 so 1 plus 10 is 11 and 11 plus 21 is 32 now that's absolutely correct okay not only we solve the question really fast but we also cross checked it within few seconds so we are doubly sure now we are 100% sure that this answer is certainly the correct answer